Sometimes you hear a story that sounds so wacky, you know it can't be true. When it comes to the world of rock and roll, though, um, it seems like the wilder the tale, the higher the chance of its legitimacy. One famous example is the band Van Halen requesting M&M candies provided backstage at every performance, but with all of the brown ones removed from the bowl. Remember that. So today we're going to, and when I say we, this doesn't include you, it's Lisa and I that are going to get put to the test when it comes to just how true some of these stories can be. With that thought in mind, we would like to welcome our friend Steve Mons of Big 1077's The Rock Shop. How are you doing? I'm it's great. Good to, good see, to you. see you back in the seat. Oh, thank you. It's good to be here. It's thank awesome. you for sitting in for me, too. Oh, it's my Appreciate pleasure. Appreciate that much. So, um, you're, you're going to ask us some questions. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell us some stories. And, and we have to be able to answer the question, are we keeping count of who gets how many right? I mean, are we competing we against are. each other? Of course we are. Oh, boy. All right. Now, I'll give you an example. That Van Halen story that you told was true. And the reason that they did that was because they got to the point where people weren't reading the riders. You know, a rider is something that you give to the venue when you go to do a show. We want water. We want sandwiches. So they put that in there to see if anybody was actually reading the riders. And then it became like an urban legend. And it became legend. a legend. I didn't and know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So. That makes sense. And a lot of people do weird things like that for the same reason. Okay. All so. right. All right. We well, need buzzers. Let's get started. So we're going to start. I'm just going to throw them out, and then you guys are going to answer them, and we can, we'll okay. try and keep score. Okay. <laughs> oh, we we'll keep, keep score. oh, we'll keep score. Okay. All right. Trust me on this one. It's game on. All right. Let's start the game. Uh, first story. As a teenager, John Bon Jovi worked as a janitor. True or false? I oh. say true. Uh, yeah, I would say true too. That's true. The interesting thing about that is it was at a recording studio, and that's how he got his proverbial foot in the door. Oh, Did not wow. know that. So, Did not know that. Yeah. So that was he was 17 at the time. But so. he had talent wow. to back it up. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Right, so, did so that. Cool. All right, up next, Eric Clapton is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame four times. True or false? I'm going to say false. <laughs> That's a tough one. I'm, I'm counting how many vans he would be in. I'm going to say false as well. You're right. It was three times. He was in as a solo artist with Cream and also with the Yardbirds. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, now, see, I didn't know that. I didn't know so, that. I didn't know he was in there multiple times. I'm just thinking four? No. Yeah. He's the only yeah. person in there three times. How about that? So, okay. Two so far, go. anyway, Two as far as we know. We're doing great. Okay, you guys know the band ZZ Top, right? Right. Uh -huh. Okay. True or false, all of the members of ZZ Top have beards. Oh my goodness. That is false. Okay, yeah, I, uh, that's false. Are you a big ZZ Top fan? I'm not, I'm not real big, but I, I think I remember something about the one who doesn't have a beard, whose name? Is Frank Beard. Is Frank Beard. <laughs> <laughs> that one I knew, the that drummer. one I knew. Yeah. Okay. So that one has an interesting twist to it. All right, so three all. Okay, so you guys know the band Leonard Skinner. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh-oh. Did you know that the band got their name from a high school gym teacher who used to punish students for having long hair. True or false? I'm gonna say true. I'm At least part false. of it's true. I'm gonna say false. Leonard Skinner was his name. Leonard he was the gym Skinner. Teacher. Yeah. Yep, and so they called themselves Leonard Skinner in a homage to their gym teacher who made fun of their long hair. So All does right. that mean it's like one nothing now? Four three. Four three. Four three. <laughs> Four three. Oh. Four, three. All right, we just, we just right. had somebody out in the audience say, free bird. <laughs> <laughs> Get the lighters up, everyone. <laughs> okay, so recently Tina Turner passed away. Right. Did you know that she taught Mick Jagger how to dance? True or false? I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say true. Well, Mick says that it was his mom who taught him how to dance, but Tina says she's the one who taught him all the dirty moves. So we're both. So we're both so right. So we're both right on that one. So you're we? both right. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Half a point each. Five four, but still you're ahead of me. Okay, and here's one. We're gonna go way back for this one. All right. Elvis. Everyone knows Elvis Presley, right? I've heard of him. Elvis recorded more than 600 songs, but wrote zero of them by himself. True or false? That's false. I'm going to say that's true. It is true. He <gasps> actually got writing credit because that's how a lot of artists get. Paid. Right. They gave him credit, but he never wrote any song by himself, which is shocking. I even shocked when I heard that one. So like, this isn't Ooh. looking too good. What, what, yeah. I mean, you're two ahead of me now. All right, two yeah. ahead. I think, we, ahead. I think yeah. we've got one last left. One, 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 this more. is a bonus. It's it's double the value. Right. So it could end up in a tie Wait. or yeah. <laughs> right. You didn't, you didn't Who see, made that 
viral. It was on the rider when we signed it in the first place. Right. Oh, okay, true or false? Sting from the police worked as a mortuary assistant. True. True. That's false. Oh. <laughs> he was a school teacher actually before he oh, got that's into right. the Oh, I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. He also drove a bus, I think, for a short period of time. But I'm still oh, two ahead. Goodness. Right. Yeah, yeah. The important so thing you here. Win. <laughs> that was the last one there. Lisa won. We all know that. Okay. Steve Mons, 1077, thank you so much. And tune in to The Rock Shop, yes. Monday through Friday. There we do go. that sort of stuff all the time. We try to educate <laughs> and entertain at the same time. <laughs>